Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Sandy Westra, and I think a lot of you are here hearing about Norwex for the very first time. So I am super excited to tell you about this. And I just have to say, we have our friend Andrew visiting in from Arizona. So he is going to tune in because he is super interested in super safe cleaning products, aren't you, Andrew? Absolutely. All right. Oh, okay, we're going to introduce Andrew. Say hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> is that the way I'm supposed to do it? That's exactly right. Okay, so let me tell you just a little bit about Norwex. Norwex is a company that is based in Norway, and they started about 26 years ago. Their original name was like 12 vowels, I could not pronounce it, but they have come over to the United States and Canada. And what Norwex does is they make safe, effective, sustainable cleaning products for your home and also for your body, for your pet, for your children. Um, I am super excited to tell you about the, the first product they make, but there is something I want to tell you about first. Um, Norwex, I'm super impressed with, and that's like the 10th time I've said super tonight. <laughs> okay, don't say that again. I am very impressed with Norwex as a company. I feel like they are truly a company that puts their money where their mouth is. Like all of their factories, the water leaves the factory cleaner than when it came to it. They are very, very conscious about what they are doing for the environment. Um, they support a lot of charities where they are helping to clean the oceans, to keep our air clean. Really, their, their mission is to keep chemicals out of your home and out of your bodies. So the first product I want to show you, this is really their flagship product. This is called an EnviroCloth. Now, this is microfiber, and I know you're probably familiar with the term microfiber. Um, ours is different for three big reasons. So number one, by definition, microfiber is one-sixth the width of a human hair. So that's like what you get at Walmart, is one-sixth of a human hair. Ours is one two-hundredth the width of a human hair. It is extremely dense. If you were to unravel this microfiber and hold it from one end to the other, it would be 1,800 miles of microfiber in this one cloth. So what that means is it has just millions of grabby little feet in it that actually pick bacteria up, pick dirt up, we don't push it around, it actually puts it in the microfiber cloth. Now, I want to tell you there are three ways that you can clean. You can clean thermally, which is with steam. Uh, we're all probably familiar with a steam cleaner. I used to have one for my floor, or you know, you put stuff in the dishwasher and that will sterilize it or clean it. Um, and that's, that's a great way to clean, but it's not convenient. You can't bring that with you, you can't have it in your car. Um, it's really hard to steam clean your kitchen, or if you do, you're paying somebody and it's a big machine and everything, so that doesn't work out really good. Um, the second way that we're used to cleaning is chemically, and this is the way that I was taught by my mom. Uh, we just, we didn't know any better. I mean, how many times have you gotten done cleaning up your kitchen, and it's squirt, 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 wipe, wipe, wipe. So the first thing I ask you to do is turn around that bottle of what you're squirt, squirt, squirting with, and read the directions, because the directions say that it has to be on the surface for four minutes before it kills any of the bacteria. And it is extremely toxic. Um, if you get it in your eyes, it's 911. It absorbs in your skin. That is one of the ways that chemicals gets in your skin is through absorbing. The other ways are by eating and breathing. But chemicals in your house, so when it smells like you've just cleaned what you're smelling are the chemicals. And what chemicals do, if you remember back to science class, it's all these little molecules floating around that smell like lemon or pine or whatnot. Well, what happens to those molecules? They're floating around, they end up on your floor and on your surfaces, on your skin, on your hair, everywhere. And you, what, what's on your floor? Well, your pets, your kids, um, it is absorbing into their bodies. In fact, the, the human body right now has 700 chemicals in it that shouldn't be there. 700, we are absolute science experiments, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we, it, it's, it's just, it's something I feel just really strongly about and really passionate about the way that we are 
you know, so many of these chemicals haven't even been tested for human consumption, and yet they're putting them in everything and they're everywhere. And here we feel like we're keeping our house clean by bringing them in, when really what we're doing is we're, the, the pollution in our house is probably worse than outside because of the chemicals we're breathing in. So Norwex, I'm going to show you a new way to clean. Okay, so again, we're back to our microfiber. And the third way, remember I said there was thermally and there was chemically, the third way to clean is mechanically. And that is what our microfiber does, is it mechanically picks up the bacteria. So it will, put all the little grabbers in here with that 1800 miles of microfiber, it will put it in here. And then what we do is we just rinse it out really thoroughly. We rub it against each other to release all of the guck. And then it's really important that you hang it up all of our microfibers have a, uh, where'd it go? There it is. All of our microfibers have a little hook. If you see, um, the insides of my cabinets are all hooks from all my stuff. <laughs> and then I drop stuff too, but that's okay. So, well, what's important is that it dries in the air, that the air cir circulates around it. You don't want to fold it and just, you know, lean it over like this because one of the most unique things about our microfiber is it is, has backlock in it and what that is is silver so during the manufacturing process when the cloth is still a liquid the silver is in the cloth so it's not sprayed on or cooked on or anything it's not going to ever come out as long as you have cloth the silver's in there and what the silver does is it acts as a birth control really for bacteria so it doesn't do anything to help you clean but it cleans the cloth and what that means, uh, we all know we've had that wash rag after a day, it stinks. Well, what are you smelling? You're smelling bacteria. So that does not happen with our microfiber. The bacteria does not multiply. And what does that mean for us? Well, it means we have, we're cleaning with a healthier cloth and we don't have to do as much laundry, which is awesome to me. But now I know you're wondering, well, how exactly does this work? So I wanna show you. I have a couple things I want to show you quick. Um, this is a microfiber that I got from Walmart. Um, Andrew, you can you can be a good example here. Okay, so here's ours. All right. Right? It's nice and dense. You feel the difference? Yeah. Okay, well, first you need to compare it to something, right? So here's <laughs> here's a microfiber that everybody has at their house. And yeah, your microfiber is um, you know, we, we like it for cleaning, but the difference is, I mean, you can really feel it, right? Yeah, it's absolutely. very different. And this is, you know, you can see right through this and you just, you can't with this because it's just so much thicker. So what I have here, this is actually my kitchen cloth that I've been using. I'm going to say I've probably been using it for three weeks now and it's important to let it dry 24 hours. And so I alternate between two cloths. But if I gave you a washcloth out of my kitchen and said, I've been using this for three weeks, would you smell it? Yeah, bro, we know. <laughs> <laughs> would you yeah, smell yeah. this one? Do I have to? <laughs> yeah, I, have to I, I have to double check just to make sure. That's yeah, it doesn't weeks. smell like anything. It doesn't smell like anything yeah. because the bacteria has been killed while it's in there. And again, um, when you get it wet, it kind of beads up at first because it's so dense, you just want to get it wet. You want to rinse it out good, get it nice and wet, which I'm going to, this is already wet, but I want to get it just a little more wet because I'm going to show you something. Okay, so this rag, uh, rag isn't the right word, this cloth can clean 90% of your home with just water. I use this in the, my kitchen, I use this in my bathrooms, I use it everywhere. And the chemicals that I have brought into my house have been cut down dramatically because of this. I use just water to clean it. And I want to show you how good it works. So we all see what this is. A piece of chicken. Okay, so what I'm going to do, now I'm telling you that it picks up the bacteria. And I want to actually show you that it picks up the bacteria. Okay, so that's nice juicy chicken right there, right? I mean, we wouldn't be looking that for anything, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you with this. Um, if you have ever worked in the food industry, you see these when the health department comes in. This is a protein tester, and what they're doing is checking for food residue. So what we're looking for on the side here is if it's absolutely clean, it's green, and it goes up to dark purple if there is protein left behind. So I'm just gonna swab this. 
it back in here. Okay, now this is no surprise. Can you see that? What color is that, Andrew? Color. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. It, it, it's, it's purple. purple. Yeah, it's purple. Charming, it's purple. So it's purple. Okay, so this is full of chicken bacteria. Okay, now again, you saw me just get this wet. This is nothing but water. And one thing that helps you when you're cleaning with this is you have four sides. So you just fold it in two. Now I have four surfaces to clean on. And so when I'm going through and like doing my bathroom, you know, I start at the top and just go down. And then if it gets a little yucky, I just turn around, use the other side, and it just, it saves so much time. But what I'm going to show you, oh, and this um, that I'm doing this on is our cutting board, which I love because this is actually made out of rice husks. So at the end of its life, this is going to... Um, end up in a landfill probably, but it's going to disintegrate. It's not plastic, it is rice husks. So again, it's very environmentally safe. All right, so you just saw me clean this. Now let's try this again. Okay, I'm gonna take the swab. You're watching me here, I'm not doing anything tricks. No right? sleight of hand or nothing, no though, right? Yeah. Hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now remember, Lighter purple, gray means there's just a little bit there, green means it's clear. Okay, so I'm gonna break the solution, get it in there. What color do you think it is? Is it green? It's green. Yep. It is it's absolutely green. absent of bacteria cool, isn't it? from just yeah, yeah. water. So it is very incredible. Okay, so this is our Enviro cloth, and another word for it is everything cloth. And again, I tell you, I clean pretty much everything in my house with this. And I do have different cloths for different rooms. Um, and then I alternate, you know, it has to dry for 24 hours. If, if you wanna come peek at my cleaning stuff over here, Drew, we can show. Come into our laundry room. So I'm gonna have them stand behind me here. You can see, this is my house. This is what I clean the bathroom. And this is my window cloth, which I'm gonna show you. And then here's all my Norwex right here. So that's just a great way to store it. I thought you guys might like to see that. Yay. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is our window cloth. And sometimes these do come in fun little patterns like you saw hanging over here. But I like to think of this as a princess cloth because it doesn't like to work too hard, but it just comes around and keeps everything sparkly. So this is works great for windows, um, mirrors, granite countertops, it works great on kitchen tops. But I have to tell you, since I've been switched to Norwex, keeping this clean is so much easier. I don't even have to use the window cloth after it, I just use this to clean up and it shines up really good. But if I follow it with this, it really shines up. But I wanna show you how great this works. So this is the window cloth, and again, this has the back lock in it so the germs will not multiply in it. And how I'm gonna do that, I've got some butter. Do you want to, oh, you're taking some. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to take a little bit of butter. I'm going to smear it on my microwave. Now we know what a mess that would be to clean up. But I'm going to go with my Enviro cloth. I'm going to wipe off the butter. And I'm just going to follow with the window cloth. And I'm just see. pointing out, that's so clean, I can see your face in there. Right? <laughs> so this, this is my go-to. I mean, you've seen our house. We are full of windows. Um, it is so much easier to clean the windows. So now. the short of that, that was no Windex, that was no 409, that was none of the above. There's no garbage either, which is really the best part as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I, I think of the paper towels I went through when my kids were little. I mean, I probably have my own little plot in the landfill that's mountains of paper towels but i'll show you some better stuff for little kids here in a minute but again these are our butter cloth and window cloth don't use this without using this first this is to shine everything up um, some consultants like to call them like burnt ernie or wine and cheese or just two things that go together really well because you really want to use them together okay all right let's get this out of the way now i'm going to show you our dust knit now, I've actually been using this a little bit. I was using it at a demo I had last week, so it's getting a little bit dirty. 
but this will grab dust. Again, it has the microfiber in it. And because of the mint shape, um, if you see, like this always gets so dusty for me because it's dark, but it's so quick to dust because it just follows your hand around. And it acts as a magnet. And then I can either, I can rinse this off in the sink when I'm done, or I just throw it in the washer and dryer. And if you really want dusting to go fast, you get two. And you have two hands and you can go through and do your whole house. But I'm gonna try something, it's so dark out right now, but I wanna show you a little secret about this. I'm gonna get it wet. And if we had windows where you could see outside, this would probably be a little bit more effective, but I'm gonna show you something. This is the best thing in the world to clean screens. Oh, I got it, I got it. I'm getting my 10,000 steps in here. Yes, yeah. you are. So I'm just going to open this window just to do Let me come around this way. Now, normally, you're thinking about cleaning the screens. You're going to be popping them out. You're going to take them outside. You're going to hose them down. Um, I'm going to show you a better way. Now, I haven't done this in a while, but it's pretty dusty out here, so I have a lot of confidence that this is going to work pretty good. I can already see a difference. It's Holy cow. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do you yeah. see that? Oh yeah, holy smokes. So that works great. And then of course, you know, you've got your cloth, you can just go into the window sills and it, I mean, just, I'm telling you, this saves so much time with screens. <clears throat> I'm just gonna shut that window because it is 29 it degrees is 29 outside. It is 29 degrees. Okay, there we go. This is also um, super great. If you happen to live by a beach, keep one of these in your car. Nothing gets sand off of feet better than this before you get in the car. You can just brush everybody, everything off with this. Okay, so this is our dust man. Now I'm just showing you all kinds of stuff here. I'm only going to show you eight things tonight because I know we all are tight on time. Let's talk about laundry detergent. So, how many loads do you think are in here, Andrew? I have no clue. I, <laughs> I don't he's know he's not a laundry guy. <laughs> right. I didn't give him a script. So, there are 50 loads of laundry in here. Um, the bag that you get, like if you do the Safe Haven 5, which is going to be the first five items that I show you, is double this size. So depending on if you have a front load or a top load washer and the quality of your water, uh, like we have pretty good water and we have a front load washer. So let me show you what a normal load is for us. I do about not even half of that. So you can see them inside. Stay still. Stay still. Or, stay still. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So my husband just got back from hunting and he was a little bit muddy. Um, so I did use a full um, scoop for his hunting clothes. But what is wonderful about this, there is nothing in here that doesn't need to be. This rinse is completely clean. There is no residue. Look how clear that is. And there's is. no scent. And there's no scent. So anybody who has hunters in the family, here's your unscented detergent. But I mean, this just looks like water. But no, it, there is detergent in here. And this is also a really great all-purpose cleaner. Um, if you need to tackle something where you just need a little bit more oomph than just water and a viral cloth, you just put like a half a teaspoon in a squirt bottle, um, and this works great. Um, this works really good. I'm going to show you our mop here in a little bit. And sometimes if you've been using... Um, chemicals on your floor you go to use our mop and it like doesn't push because the chemicals are holding it back it will eventually come up but if you want to hurry it along you can just squirt this along and and pick it right up so i mean i love this i i sent this size bag to college with my son i mean i know he doesn't have to i'm not putting tide pods in his hand he's 18 he's at a dorm i mean we're not we're not going to do that <laughs> But I also think about, you know, what detergent are, comes in when we go to the grocery store. It's this big, you know, plastic thing, which is, you know, it's not super heavy, but you are lugging it into your car, lugging it to your car, and then bringing it back in the house. And then when it's done, you have this big plastic thing you have to dispose of. Hopefully, you're recycling it. But, you know, 50 loads, I mean, that's six months for us. And that's what I have left. Now, I use a lot of these for samples and whatnot, so I go through it faster. But this is a wonderful product. Okay, now I want to show you our cleaning paste. Now I have to tell you before I even start, COVID has made life hard for a lot of businesses and we are having the same problems with inventory. You can only get this. Oh, shoot, sorry. 
<laughs> you can only get this in a kit. You cannot buy this separate right now. Okay, but this is our cleaning paste, and we like to talk or like to say that this is, this is elbow grease in a jar. Um, I love to pull open the inside of my oven. And, you know, to clean in there, it works like a charm. Of course, my oven's like super clean up because of this. Um, but you think of like if you're going to uh, tackle um, a gas grill, like the last time you cleaned a gas grill, the fumes from that are just awful. So this is non-toxic. This is marble paste, um, soap, and coconut oil. So take a good whiff of that, Andrew. Yeah, that smells nice. It does smell nice. So you're not going to get um, nauseous using it. But what's important, does it work? Oh, let me tell you, this works great on soap scum. Holy cow. If you have a buildup of soap scum, you take this to it and you are good to go. So like a shower door, clean right up. Shower door, right up, yes. I'm going to show you something. This is leftover tile from our bathroom. And this is a Sharpie. We all love to put this in the hands of our children at home, right? Because it gets everywhere. So I'm just going to, since we have a house guest, looky there. Okay. I mean, I'm sure none of our, none of us as parents has ever, you know, gone into a bathroom and seen our kids play with Sharpies before, right? And get into everything. I'm going to show you how good this works. Now, I do still have chicken and stuff in here. So I just want to show you, um, to remind you again, this is just how you rinse it. The bacteria is in the cloth, so I'm getting rid of it now by rinsing it. And, you know, good practice. I mean, there, is there chicken bacteria in here right now? There probably is. But you know when you clean, you start with the least dirty and then go to the most dirty. Like, I would never clean up chicken juice and then you know, white dishes with it. I mean, we, we all know that, but that's how that works. But I'm just going to risk it knowing that there probably is still some chicken stuff in here. But I want to show you how this works. So this has, get this, 4,800 swipes in it. So this will last a while. Okay, so I'm just going to swipe this. And here's our Sharpie dried on here. Look at that. I mean, it works, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it works really good. And again, um, for soap scum, this is your go-to for gas grills. Um, we do have some consumable products like a, a degreaser. Um, we have like a stain fighter. We have a lung or a, I'm sorry, a dishwasher detergent where we use enzymes as opposed to chemicals. So everything is super non-toxic. Um, in fact, I have to tell you just a quick story about our consumables. Uh, one of our consultants, her son had gotten into her bathroom cleaner. And of course, you know, you freak out. I mean, you, you, we're so used to, I mean, if you see your child playing with Mr. Clean or Lysol or something, you, you get really, you know, scared and you call poison control. Poison control told her it's Norwex. Don't worry about it. Just have her drink water. Now, if that would have been something else, it probably would have been a 911 call. I mean, it's just that much better for you. Oh, and also our consumables come in eight ounce bottles and you dilute them one ounce to seven ounces. So it's like you're getting eight bottles of cleaner, not just one. But I got a little sidetrack there. Okay, so that's our cleaning paste. So the first five things I've showed you, the window cloth, the enviro cloth, the dust mitt, the cleaning paste, and the laundry detergent, that's our safe haven five. That is a really great place to start with your Norwex dirty and getting chemicals out of your house. But I just wanna show you three more things. I'm going to do this one first, just because this is so darn cute. I love this. These are our counter cloths, and again, we have the back lock in them, so as they dry, the bacteria is dissolved. If I had a baby, I would have probably three of these hanging on the back of the high chair. I cannot tell you how many paper towels we want to wipe face, faces and hands while kids are growing up. And these also work really great. Um, you stick one of these in with your, um, like your spinach or your lettuce. I'll just show you. Yep, see it right there. I've got one in there. Um, that cloth holds a quarter cup of water. I'm going to show that to you. So it's super great for absorbing moisture in produce. But this is meant to replace paper towels. So you don't have to get the cute little baskets. I don't know why you wouldn't want to, but you know, you can have them folded up and put in something else. And then 
to dry them, um, if you just let, let them dry, the bacteria goes away as it dries and this will dry. I mean, we're dry here though. I don't know in a more humid climate. I mean, this will be dry in like three hours. So you can just keep reusing it. But I'm gonna show you, I have my two cups of water here. And that's a quarter cup. There it is, a quarter cup of water. Right. So it picks up. Um, you know, my husband uses these to, you know, like he'll wipe down. I just always grab the Enviro cloth, but you know, you can wash dishes with this. You can wipe your counters with this. It's very uh, multi-purpose. But just for comparison, <clears throat> what did I just get all over here? Something. Oh well. Oh, that was your cleaning paste. I'll, I'll clean it later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we do still have paper towels um, because we only use like 20% of what we used before. But just out of curiosity, how many of these do you think it will take to get a quarter cup of water, Andrew? Oh, probably 50. <laughs> <laughs> it could be 50, but it's probably going to be more like and, five. And now, now, now you're at it with um, paper towels. How much does the average family spend on paper towels? Well, the average family goes through two of these a week. And I believe that comes to like $400 a year in paper towels. And these end up, these are not recyclable. They end up in the landfill. So we're going to throw some money away right here, okay? <laughs> the story of my, I know, my, story husband of my life. That. My husband loves that. <laughs> loves throwing money away. Yes. Oh, yeah. Nice and juicy still. Are we counting? I don't know if I can get... No, there's still in some in there. Maybe I can do it with this one. Okay, so I have five here. So five paper towels? Five paper towels. Did I get it? No, there's still some in there. I could probably have used six. But now what do I do with these? Gar garbage. They go in the garbage. These are destined for the land fill. And I'm going to give you some... Um, really interesting facts about paper towels here in just a minute. But again, these are our counter cloths in the box set. Um, the hardest thing about transitioning to these is training your family to do so. Yes, and Drew's pointing to himself. So this is where we used to keep our paper towels, and now I keep my counter cloths. And it's still, you know, it takes a little bit, but your family will get used to it. Trust me. And I mean, look how cute that is. I, I love it. I think it's adorable. So. Let me show you our mop. This is the last mop you're ever going to buy. So it is adjustable. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. There we go. <laughs> so the, the correct height of mop is at your chin level. So if you tighten it down and you get it the level you want. This is kind of handy if you can't get to something it will help you um, see ours are kind of curved and so it doesn't work well but it will keep it off the floor you can touch it on your curve and the ball on the end if you have linoleum floors and you have a scuff this is perfect i don't know if i can get that over there. yeah well uh, we don't have any scuffs here but i'm just going to show you that that's what the ball on the end is for okay so the way that you do this this comes with two um, different pads, but we also have three more that you can buy for your needs. So this is the dry pad. Now this will pick up hair and small crumbs. Um, I still use my broom. Um, like if you spill cereal or coffee grounds or something like that, you know, you, you still want to use your broom, but this is like my daily. And I can go through and do all my whole house because it's just a motion like this. Super quick. And it goes super flat so I can get underneath stuff very easy. And again, this pad just goes right in the wash. Um, another way you can clean it, and this is the other item I'm going to show you today. I'm going to tell you right now, if you have a pet that has hair on it, you need this brush. This brush will get hair out of anything. It's wonderful. It's also wonderful for cleaning our dry pad, but I just hold it over the trash 
and brush it in here. Works out great. Okay, so one of the um, attachments you can get is a window pad. If you look on the back here, if you straighten this up, it won't go back and forth. All of a sudden, it makes it a lot easier to clean windows. So, but that one is sold separate. Oh, I'm gonna hurt myself here. Okay, I won't do that right now. <laughs> um, so, but it comes with the dry pad, and it also comes with the wet pad. So how this works is you get it wet, you wring it out, and then you put it on here. And you'll notice that this is bigger than the, um, the base because if I want to get the lip of a baseboard, I can fold it up. It's not going to show real well, probably for much loose way, but I can get the baseboard as I'm cleaning. Okay, now I know some of you, most of you haven't been in my house. But it's all hardwood through here. We have two bathrooms that are tile, and then we have the entryway here. Um, I will rinse this out and get it wet twice. I usually do the bathrooms, and then I come do the entryway up to here, and then I do the kitchen area. So um, it goes super fast. Again, wash, wash and dry. Uh, we have the window pad that goes with it. We also have a chenille pad, which if you have an animal that has long hairs, that works really good. And we also have a tile pad that has a little bit more of a scratchy on it. Um, and that would be if you have tile or if you have a textured engineered wood um, that you want to get the tile pad for that too. But if you are using a mop where you buy the chemical and then you buy the pad and the chemical ends up on your floor and the pad ends up in the garbage, this the first year, it won't save any money, but then every year after that, it will save you money. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to tell you about the mop. I cannot think of what it is. <clears throat> Shoot, it's just like in my head, but I can't think of it. So. Well, you, could, you could use it for cleaning the RV and stuff. I've... Well, yeah, and um, you can because of you know this motion. Um, Drew, let me just grab the chenille pad because we use it for the RV. So our dog um, doesn't have long hair, so that's not as much of an issue. But if you do have a dog that has long hair, but this works really great for cleaning the outsides of the RV. Um, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. And I've mentioned it before. If you go to do this on your floor and it is sticky, um, the reason is is because you have buildup on your floor. So you keep working at it and it will come up or you can use the laundry detergent diluted in the squirt bottle and that will get it to come up um, right away the first time. Okay, so I have showed you everything that I want to show you. I just want to talk just a little bit about chemicals because I just love these cards. So the average household has 61 chemicals in it. You saw my cleaning, I've, I'm looking at my house because I can show you exactly. This is what I go clean my bathroom with right here, with my cleaning paste. Here's our bathroom cleaner. It's diluted in here with water. I have this for the floor. And I use this if I have a, a scrubby problem and I use this for porcelain. That This is what I clean my house with, this and that. So this is the only chemical I'm bringing in. This is totally non-toxic. So those 62 chemicals are absolutely not necessary. You know better now, you can do better. Oh, let's talk about straws. So I now have straws that I have bought from Norwex. I know you can get them from other places too, but I really like ours because they come in a bag and it comes with its own little cleaner and the bag is waterproof. So right now we go out to eat. I just put the bag on the table. You'll see if we go out to eat tomorrow. I'll just put the bag on the table. <laughs> And I have four straws in there, and then I just drop them back in the bag, and then when we get home, I throw the bag by the sink so I know to wash them before I put it back in my purse. But 500 million straws in a day? I mean, those numbers are just huge. I can't even get my head around that. Um, when's the last time you looked at dust under a microwave? <laughs> or a microwave, under a telescope, right? I said it wrong again. What do we look under dust? It's a microscope. <laughs> <laughs> I was so close. I, I had the micro and then the scope, but it, it took me a minute, but it's the microscope that we look at dust under, the, you know, the dust mites. 
and then the chemicals that are just lurking in dust. And again, the pollution inside your house is probably worse than outside of your house because of the chemicals we're bringing in. Okay, I give Andrew a free pass on this one, but 85% of contaminants come in the first four steps on your shoes. That's why it's important to take your shoes off when Whoops. you come in the house. <laughs> I told you, I give them a free pass. I'm going to yeah. Norwex behind him when he leaves. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's better than spraying. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we're, we're talking about paper towels again. Okay, so to make one ton of paper towels, 17 trees are cut down. I mean, that's pretty substantial because look at this next one. 3,000 tons of paper towel waste is thrown away every day. 3,000 tons we use a day. One ton takes 17 trees, okay? We, we can't do, I mean, we're trying really hard to do things for the environment on the outside of our house, but we can really make some just little changes on the inside of our house and be so much better for our planet and what we're leaving for our kids. This is the one that kills me. Babies born today in the United States have 200 detectable chemicals in their bloodstream. 200 of a, a born baby. So again, I feel like we are the science experiments. And what's scary, girls are born with every egg they're ever going to have. So we're already reaching into our next generation. And we don't know what's going to happen. It's, again, I just get a little worked up about this. But I hope that I have showed you everything you need to know about Norwex. Um, you all are here either because I've invited you or my friend Marissa or Taylor have invited you. If you have any questions, please contact me through this party. You can message me um, through my website, which is also on the party. Just click my website. We have all our different groups um, or different groups. We have different kits that you can buy where they put things together and you save money. Again, the Safe Haven 5 is what we talked about today. Um, I do about one Facebook party a month. I'm not going to do one in December. My next one's going to be in January. So if you want to jump on and invite some of your friends and all you have to do is invite them and then talk. I mean, it's not hard for me to do that at all. <laughs> I don't think it's too hard for really anybody to, to just talk to your friends. And, and teach them about Norwex and let me teach them about Norwex. And again, um, I posted something today I just came across. Oh, I didn't even tell you about this, Drew. So 82% of the women in the United States who make over $100,000 a year do it with direct sales. 82%. That's pretty amazing. That's crazy. So, I mean, that's, that's a great statistic. And as far as direct sales go, I mean, it's it's fun to buy stuff for yourself. I mean, I love jewelry and I love leggings and you know, all the, the good stuff. When you buy Norwex, you're impacting your family's health, you're impacting the environment. And this is something that everybody needs. Everybody cleans. You just can't get away from it. So if, if you are even thinking about any type of a direct sale because you can do it online, you can fit it in the cracks of your busy life, please reach out to me. What, did I say crack and you guys are all looking at each other? <laughs> Where, 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 where is, yeah, where is the crack? <laughs> <laughs> I have two boys in the room here. I'm sorry. So, all right. That's probably a good time for me to wrap it up. So I'm going to say goodbye and good night. And you guys have a great evening. And anybody who orders, I know, don't shut off yet. Got to tell you one more thing. Anybody who orders before midnight tomorrow night, you are in the drawing for a prize. And if you book a party with me, you're going to get a prize just for booking a party. So there you go. All right, everybody, goodbye. Have a great night. Thanks for tuning in.